Hello everyone, this is John Ward with the Appalachian Channel and I'm here at Tanner's Historic Cafe. It's located in Wartburg in Morgan County, Tennessee and uh, Morgan County is the same place I've been filming R.M. Brooks' general store. Also here in Morgan County they have the Brushy Mountain Penitentiary that's a uh, privately owned tour now that you can go through and see the prison. It's a big event going on when it opens back up in the, I think maybe in March. So you can come to this area and go to Orion Books. You can go to uh, the prison there on that tour. You can come here to Tanner's. There's so much here to do. And we're going to go in and check this out. It first opened in 1923. And part of it was a bank. And then the bank moved into a bigger building. And the Tanner's bought the bank and built onto it and turned it into a soda fountain. and. It's been many things over the years. It's been a general store, it's been a drug store, a soda fountain, and we're gonna go check it out. Come on with us. That you can see uh, this part on the right hand side that says 201. If you see up there in the top, this was the part that was the bank originally. It was one of the first banks I believe in Morgan County. And we're gonna show you inside of it in a minute. But just kind of wanted to show you a little bit of the outside of this building. Uh, I love this big old porch it's got on it. So here we are, Tanner's. It first opened in the 1920s. Uh, uh, this left-hand section, you can see a little uh, divider board going down through there. That was built on as the Tanner's expanded. They first started the soda fountain over here in the bank. And then eventually they expanded a little bit. So we're going to go inside and we're going to meet Pam and she's going to give us a little bit of a tour of the uh, building. Welcome Hello. to Tanner's. Welcome to Tanner's. How are you doing today, Pam? I'm doing very well, thank you. How are you? Good. Good. Uh, we uh, been outside filming and we love the place. And, oh, good. Uh, I'm so glad. <laughs> love uh, everything that we see so far. So. Good. Uh, you want to start right here and give us a little tour? I'll be glad to. This is um, the original, about a 1920s soda fountain. We're using this um, mostly just for the water purposes. We don't really use the, salsa, the, the uh, soda part of it anymore, but we wanted to keep the, keep the look of it. And we uh, keep the ice cream in it, um, that kind of thing. But we don't, we don't actually use the pumps, um, but mostly because of the health codes nowadays. So anyway, it's uh, marble, marble surround, and uh, we uh, take real good care of it. We're real proud of that, that real part, yep. And then the, the store itself, um, when, we, when we began working on it, it was all um, a, a little bit dilapidated just from uh, years of neglect, and so uh, we took it all down to the studs and started over. Uh, we put new new shiplap all the way around, and we um, put a new ceiling in, and put new lighting in, and put new plumbing in, put HVAC in, and so anyway. But but it, to keep its to keep its authenticity, we uh, we kept several of the items that came with the store that were here for years and years and years. This is a fourth generation store, and so for um, you know a hundred years, it's a hundred years this year. Um, we've been trying to keep things that we can that we can show off what it used to look like. So we have um, this, the bar that's here, um, has been here all along, this particular configuration. These bar stools are the originals. They were, they were made in the 1920s and you can tell by the spiral of the iron at the feet to know that they're the original bar stools. This back bar back here was part of the original they use that as a cooler. It's zinc lined, and they use it as a cooler for um, to hold their milks and things like that. Before we had refrigerators. <laughs> uh, this is an old biscuit table down here that they used to make the biscuits, the breads, things like that on, and the, the drawers open at the bottom, and they're rounded to hold flour and things like that. Um, so we've then, got a, let's this, look at this scale. That's, I like yeah, that color. That's kind of a teal blue, I it guess. It is, it is. We uh, took a lot of scrubbing to get the, to get it to back to its original color, but that is its original color. And they used it to, to uh, weigh all their meats on as they sold them individually as well, a long time ago. Yeah. So these apothecary cabinets in the back are um, part of the fact that the, one of the owners was a registered pharmacist. 
So he had all these apothecary cabinets full of anything that you might want for medicine-wise, drug-wise, whatever you needed. Uh, people, people came to this store almost 100% to get the need, their medical needs because he had everything that you would might need here. This is the original pastry cabinet that they used back in the 1920s. And of course, this is the original um, register. Uh, we don't use it today, but we wanted to keep it because it kind of has a lot to do with the whole the whole vibe of the store. Yeah. Um, we have um, one of the bathrooms here has a shower in it because when this store was operating in the 1920s and 30s, it was the only place in Morgan County that had hot running water. So with that being said, they put a shower in here for the miners to come in off of the Gobi Mountains, uh, out of the lumber, out of the coal mines, uh, to come in and take a shower every now and then a week or a month. And they'd pay a nickel or a dime, you know, to whatever they had to pay for their shower. Yeah, let's look at the bathroom just a sure. second there sure. and kind of give them an idea. You've, uh... So these are some of what the walls originally looked like. Did, yes. they, did the walls inside the main store was they covered with a paper or anything? They were all covered with a wood paneling, a wood uh, paneling. from the old from the 1970s look. You know that that wood paneling. So yeah, but we saved those interior walls just so people would know. So you redid the shower. Looks like we did. That, we had to redo the shower. It was just a, it was just really a a, a pit that had tar paper on the bottom for the, for the basin of the... Oh, really? Yeah. God, yeah. it's hard to yeah. say how many yeah. miners took a share in that Exactly, over the years. exactly, exactly. Yeah. And uh, what we got right here? Well, this was... We saved this because this is how we actually turned the lights on when we came in the door uh, in 2019 when we bought this place. And uh, it's, it's all that noob and that... What's it called? Knob and tube or whatever yeah. that kind of electrical stuff. And we act... We literally had to pull this up or down to turn the lights on or off in this place. All the way up to 2019. All the way up to 2019. Yeah, we so, had to start over with all the electrical. I think there's some more of that over here. Is there not mm -hmm. another piece of that? Yeah, we have some more and we stay, saved a lot of things in the display cases just for samples to show people what, what was in here originally. Um, these are just some of the items that, that are in there. Yeah. This is some of the original cases that mm -hmm. were in here? Original cases, yep. Again, yeah. saved as much as we possibly could. So this is what it looked like in 2019? Yeah, if you walk through the front door, uh, that's what it looked like. Yeah. yeah it was full. It had 75,000 items in this store. 75,000 items? Mm-hmm, 75,000. Who counted all of those? We had a, uh, we had a, a, a professional group from Cookville come, and they do the they do the auctions and they do the sales for antiques and estate sales and things like that. That's their business. And they came here, spent three days and tagged every item that was in this store. And then we had a three day sale to sell all, sell as much of those items as we could to give them back to the owner of the store, let him, because it was his, it was his things. And so we wanted him to have the profits from that. So this is a part of, uh, this is under what organization now? Um, the Morgan County Tourism Alliance bought this store uh, and, we, and we promised to keep the name of it as Tanner's because that was the family name that they'd had for four generations. And we promised him if he would let us buy this store and redo it, that we would keep that name. We would keep the legacy alive. And that's been real important what we're doing here. And it originally started out as a bank in it did. 1906. 1906. And the Tanners bought it. And I'm not sure what year they bought it. Um, I know that they that they used the, the bank side after the bank moved out. They used it as an ice cream parlor. Uh, people came in, got a cup of coffee, and that kind of thing. But then they built on the big cafe side, this big side that we're standing in. They built that on, and it was ready to go in 1923. So it's a hundred years old this can year. We, can we see the old bank park? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So this is a separate building. The original building is right here. That's right. This is the original building. The oldest building, and it was... Uh, a bank? Was it one of the first banks in the area? It was the first bank in Morgan County. It was in 1906. This, they uh, built this building and um, they, it was used 100% as a bank. This vault was their original vault. 
Um, we've, of course, re redone it to make it look a little better because it was in it was in a little bit of disrepair just over years, just you know, just from the years of not being used. So, um, but this is a this is a prime spot. We kind of use it for meetings. We kind of use it a little bit for storage, for organization. We're kind of using it for a little bit of everything as we're as we're trying to get things in order. It's taken us it took us two and a half years to redo the entire store, and so now we're having the time to go back and fluff up some of the things we were able to do and make them a little bit better. So you, you opened in April, so you've been 10, 8, 10 months yeah, maybe. Yeah. And how's things going so far? It's, so far it's going really well. The community has really been behind us, and that's what we hoped for because so many people who still live here, they remember coming in here when they were children and, and getting their ice cream or, or looking at the comic books or whatever they did here. But this was, this was the place to be. And so people, they, they just, you know, flocked to this place, particularly after church uh, every Sunday. They'd come out here and get their ice cream. So. I see you have quite a few pictures here. I, yeah, um, I do. They're, uh, it's I, I'm, in, I'm in the preparation of, of getting those uh, arranged and set up. We're going to put them on the walls and, and make this kind of a photo legacy room uh, to kind of tell the story of this place and, and, and what we have planned going forward. Mm -hmm. So what we got, we've got a, a cut out here, a photo of somebody. You want to talk about her? Yeah, this is Maud Tanner. She was a, she was a staple in this, in this establishment. She, that was kind of her look all the time. And so that's according to um, people who knew her, say that 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 looks just like her and it's the same size as her. It's it's legit. Oh really? Uh huh. How about exactly that? how tall she was, and she used that stove that's right beside her. That's the stove that she used to cook on. So, so yeah, we kept that also. Now. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. So this uh, this was the original bank. There it was. was a little office probably behind here. Yeah, that a little was storage using. room. Yeah, basically it's what it was, just a storage room. So they started out in this area and mm -hmm. apparently did good yep. and built on. They did built on. Built on. Yeah. And I heard a story about uh, what was who was the guy that was here that shot the hose through the door. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the original owners he. He had a little sleeping area in the back of the building. Can we go see that? That you way sure they, can, can. they can understand sure. what you're talking about. Yeah, absolutely. See what he did back Come there. Right back out. Okay, this is now our kitchen, of course, but this was the original sleeping area of one of the owners of Tanner's. And this is where he kind of had a little, kind of a rough looking cot and just, you know, things, stuff that were his personal items. But he would sleep in here every now and then. Um, there are stories that are associated with him that I don't really know if they're true or not. But one of them that I do know is true is that because he would sleep back here and remember the time that it was in the 1920s and 30s where the kids would be outside playing or, and the children of the community were all outside at those times. They were climbing the trees or you know playing hide and seek or whatever they were doing. But if they made too much noise and would upset him and he was trying to sleep, he literally would pull his gun out. He had a little pistol that he kept with him and he'd shoot through the door. And so we have saved this door and we can see that some of the places where they've actually plugged it, where, he had, where we had holes in the door itself. Uh, so we know that that's true. That's a true story. And that would scare the kids off, of course, you know. It looks like he probably shot through that building across the street too. Well, you would think so, you know, you would think so. But it's just been real, It was a, that was one of the best stories, you know. Yeah, yeah. so. So we're trying to, yeah, trying to save as much of the original stuff as we possibly can. And of course, this has this has a lot of history behind it. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So, can we look at some of the stuff that's down through oh, here and tell absolutely. us a little bit about this? <laughs> we keep a, we just we try to keep a sample of things. I mean, everything in this store was was so it was just it went from end to end, it was anything you wanted by the time the store was in the 1990s. Anything you wanted. So if you needed if you needed strings for your banjo or your guitar, they were up there. If you needed some kind of antacid, it was in the cabinet. If you needed something for your cattle, there was all kinds of medicines for, for farm animals. Uh, you could get things for babies, you could get things for teenagers you could get just about anything you wanted so we saved as many things as we possibly could just just as a kind of a representation of what they had been like here's the zippo lighters up here 
those Zippos were, um, you know, everybody had a Zippo lighter, you know, are in they, the 1950s and stuff. Are they still lighters in those? No, boxes? they're just the, boxes. just the boxes. Yeah, they're just the boxes. Yeah. 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 So this is a beautiful cabinet. It's got yeah. all these drawers. Yeah, and, and they were all just completely full of things. And so now we just use them for what we need here behind the behind the bar at the at, in the cafe. Yeah. This was just some of the things again that, that they had on display, had for sale. All kinds of things that you could possibly need. I mean, you know, there's a gavel if you were going to go to going to go to a meeting and you needed to bring attention or whatever. It just had everything. Everything. You do. Oh, that's neat. So you know all about it. So you've got some of the original booths over here. It looks like a couple yeah, of booths. Yeah, these are original booths. There were, as, as far as I know, there was only these two left. But we, but yes. Um, we kind of re, you know, we kind of polished them up a little bit because they were in pretty disrepair and, and broken. But we were able to save them, and they were, they were bolted down, so we left them exactly where they were. So they've not been yep. moved. Yeah, not been moved. It's all, it's all pretty much the same. Yeah. So you want to tell us about the old cooler over here a little bit? Yeah, this old cooler, um, this one that you're looking at is a representation. It's a, it's a mock-up of what was there. The original one was a lot deeper. And so they used it as they used it as a cooler. They did for all kinds of things, ice particularly. But the the thing about it is that it had been so many years since it had been taken care of that the cooler itself had fallen through the floor. It was so heavy that the floor had rotted out from underneath it, and it literally had fallen down into the floor. So it was sitting at a tilt, a pretty good tilt. So when we moved it to take it out of the building so we could repair the floor, it literally imploded on itself. It was so, it was uh, decayed from the bottom up. And so all we did was save the doors, we saved the original hardware that was on it, and then made this little replica to kind of represent what, what used to sit there. This one is, certainly isn't as big. So this right, I see, you, is this part of the original cooler up here? It is, that's, seeing? yes, that was the header of it. Yes, that's, we so, saved it. So this decal that we're seeing on here, that's not a reproduction. That's that is a, not. That's nope, original. it is not. That was the original, yep. So you think this sure was, was the top part of the cooler? So it was the, the very top part of the cooler, uh-huh. So it actually sure had pressure in it that cooled, or right. how did it work? I, I think, I don't even know, I think it lit up, but I don't, I mean, we were never um, privy to that information, so I'm not sure how yeah. it exactly worked. I just know it was a real important part of that cooler, so we saved it. Yeah, so yeah. this part, this you say this doesn't work completely now? The, it doesn't the work completely. Of course, the, wa the water in it works. We absolutely use it for that. Um, we use it, you know, to store some things in and, and keep our milkshake um, containers there. Yeah. But, yeah, but we don't use any of these pumps anymore. Uh, these are some of the original... Uh, pieces right here yes they are yes mm. how about this right here is this this is original in the glass it was on the glass when we when we got the back bar it was on the glass now how long that's been there i couldn't say but it has been a while you all sell milkshakes here we do oh absolutely yeah. we sell lots of ice cream people remember that from coming in and so yeah we sell lots of ice cream we have a kind called an orange pineapple that seemed to be a staple for this building, so we had to order that, and we have that on orange the Orange pineapple. Orange pineapple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so is that who, what company makes that? Mayfield. Mayfield, Mayfield an orange Mayfield. pineapple. Uh -huh. Sure enough. And that sounds good. It does. It sounds really well. Of course, the staples do too, the chocolate, the strawberry, and all those, but, but orange pineapple was one that people remember, and they wanted that, and so yeah, we absolutely had to get that. So you've lived here quite a few years? I have. I've been here a long time. And you remember the store being open. Did you ever come I get an ice cream here? I didn't. It was kind of, I was working in a different area, so I really wasn't part of the, I didn't really communicate in the in the community. I really didn't until I retired. And then I got involved in the community, and I wished I'd been up here a long time ago. But, <laughs> uh, cause I, but I hear stories from so many people that come in and talk about it. And it just it makes you feel it makes you feel good about what we've done here. Yeah. I love your shirts that y'all oh, made thank with, you, the, thank you. with that. I saw some back there. Another room was back there. Do you, uh, yes. So was the, I guess the community was pretty happy to get another place open back up to eat? I think they were. I think that it was, it was badly needed. Um, but, you know, and then, but we're not a full-time restaurant either. You know, we're not a big-time, open-all-day-long kind of restaurant. We're just trying to get our feet up underneath us and see how we do. And if we have enough 
enough community support, then we'll you know change our hours, change our days, open a little bit more, and get a little bit bigger. But right now we're just trying to to feed the lunch crowd, take care of those people who want to come in and get a piece of pie and a cup of coffee, that kind of thing. Just just be a, a real easy going, laid back place where people can come and talk. They can have meetings up here if they want to. They can have special events. We're trying to we're trying to do everything we can community wise. That's for sure. Absolutely. I love the old hardwood floors. Yep, They're original, original, right? Yeah, absolutely. And you was talking about this uh, table right here a little while ago. This uh -huh. is uh, where they made biscuits. They did. did. they serve breakfast here? No, oh, they did. Yes, absolutely. Yep, wow. They sure did. So, yep. it's down It's uh, down lower mm -hmm. so that I guess they could work the dough. Work on, yeah, work yeah. the dough. That, that way would be yeah, a lot easier to do. Yeah, roll it out, roll it out. Yeah. Well, I think... Uh, I'm in love with the place. Well, thank you, <laughs> thank you. We are too. We're just super happy with it. We really are. We... So I see, a, I see a, a clock up here that looks uh, kind of vintage. Was That's was very that in, vintage. Was it here? Yes, we uh, we saved it as well. Saved uh, we, it. It took some negotiating for for the owner to agree to let us buy that. Yeah. He didn't want to, but we thought, oh, so yeah, we bought it, and I'm so glad we did. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, I think what we're going to do is order some lunch and get good. something to eat well, and good. maybe talk back. to a few other people and uh, yeah. we'll be back with you in just a few minutes. Well, that'd be great. Thank you so much. One of my favorite stories about the Tanner story is when about 1974, 75, uh, there was five children of us and it was our money was tight and my parents gave each of us $10 to come to Tanner's store and do a little shopping spree for Christmas and I picked out these little earrings here and every time that uh, I pull these out of my jewelry box, I think about that Christmas shopping spree that we got to come to Tanner store and do. Well, back when I was younger, back when we were teenagers in the 50s and 60s and so forth, we'd all congregate together up here at Nick's and we'd go in and get a soda or what have you. But the biggest thing was we'd sneak back in the back and look at all the comic books. We'd try to read the new edition of comic books before Nick caught us. Because if he caught us, he'd say, you boys need to be buying that book back there. When he'd say that, we'd all run out the door and go home right quick so he couldn't find us. But he knew all of us, so he knew we was doing all that anyway. But that was, that's childhood memory for us. My name is Michael Nance. I'm the Morgan County historian. Uh, John asked me to provide a little bit of information about what was going on in the economy in Morgan County during the 1920s when the Tanner's uh, store was at its heyday. And at that time, mostly what was going on was uh, timber, coal, and a lot of land speculation. Uh, we had a huge op timber operation going on in the area around Gobi. Uh, there was various mining operations going on around the county and there was a, a significant amount of land speculation going on out in the western parts of Morgan County. So do you remember this store back as a kid? Yeah, when I graduated high school in 1987, uh, Nick Tanner was still operating this store. Uh, he was still serving ice cream uh, after school. Oh yeah, did you yeah. ever come in? And... Oh yeah, I, I bought, uh, well I remember this store all through my childhood. I bought comic books here when I was in grade school. Uh, yeah, I remember Nick well, talked to him all the time. He was a really interesting character to say the least. <laughs> he was a guy who was never at a loss for words in any conversation. So what was uh, the general uh, population here in Watburg, were they happy to see this getting restored and opened back oh, up? Oh, absolutely, yeah. We, we've lost a lot of historic houses and buildings in Wartburg over the years. And, and it, it's, it's taken us a while as a community to recognize the value in these historic buildings, but uh, we certainly do now. Uh, unfortunately, there's been a bunch of them that's got away from us before we got to this point. So I, I've, I've met no one that is not happy about this place being restored. Well, I appreciate your time. Thanks for hanging out and waiting for me to get around to the interview today. All right, thank you, John. Oh, wow, that looks delicious. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, those are nice. That looks great. Look at that. Did, did uh, Linda make this? Yes. Yes, she did. Wow. That looks amazing. Yeah, this is one, this is our special dessert for today. This is this is our special number one cook. This is Nay Thomas. She does a great job here, and she also is the baker. She made the cake this morning. 
and she made it special because it's German chocolate. I did. It's German chocolate, mm -hmm. salted caramel topping, and he toffee pieces and caramel drizzle. Oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah. Oh. Delicious. That's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Guaranteed to give you diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't suck it. <laughs> well, thank you. You were gonna eat the cake, and don't, don't look dirty. Alrighty. All right. Thank you very much. When that got put on the national register, the building was still in disrepair. And that's one of the reasons we wanted to say it because it was on the national register. And a lot of people, a lot of people follow those paths of, of, of you know special places to see, and this is one of them. And we had a great visit. Love the store. Thank you so much. Love the food. You did a wonderful job. Thank you. Thank you all. We'll all be back to see you again. Thank you so much.